Hey guys, it's me, Vanessa from Beyond Your Sun Sign. This is your reading for the week of March 1st to March 8th. Let's get started. Okay, so get grounded, get relaxed. Picture your feet being pulled completely down to the earth. You are relaxed and grounded. Now think of a number between one and three. Card one, card two, card three. Okay, so if you chose card one, firstly, I just need to say that this was hard to come out. Uh, there's something with us transferring into the Pisces season that now our emotions are a lot more guarded. Our emotions are a lot more blocked now. So this week, March 1st to March 8th, you're going to find that you're giving a lot emotionally. Although you are very guarded, you're still putting out your emotions um, when it comes to family and friends and your responsibilities. Everybody else is taking a little bit of a backseat. Friends um, that aren't as close, that you don't consider family. Um, people that you don't consider your responsibility are going to be getting a little bit of a, of a pushback from you saying, listen, I kind of need my space uh, because this week... If you chose card number one, it is more of a focus on your family, uh, your close friends, your responsibilities there, and just trying to find that balance, trying to find that balance between uh, your responsibilities at work and your responsibilities at home. Um, just make sure this week you're putting up the proper boundaries. And like you see how this guy is, you can't even, he's not even paying attention to the giving that you're doing. Uh, if there is somebody in your life that is just not receptive to how, uh, much you give especially emotionally how much time and energy and emotional energy you give to others and uh, the people that you care about if they're not even recognizing then don't do it for them <laughs> do not do it for them do it for yourself because that will uplift you and that will uh raise your vibration in a positive way uh but if you are doing it for the approval or the attention of somebody else just stop okay <laughs> so hope you guys have an amazing week and i will see you next week don't forget to comment like and uh subscribe and turn off the notification turn on the notification bell <laughs> now if you chose card number two this is the knight of cups so this card fell out face down so that means that this is something that you haven't brought to light yet you haven't really brought yourself to face it it's been too hard so you'll feel emotional when you start thinking about this uh, knight of cups but then you're like, I can't go there. It's it's too hard. So you don't allow yourself that emotional release. This Knight of Cups is a water sign. So this person knows all about emotions and they really want you to see, uh, they really want to see your emotional energy. They want to see that, that intensity and that passion. So this person has really, really intense eyes, beautiful, intense eyes. Uh, they're a water sign. They're younger than you, either emotionally younger, physically, um, or maybe mentally or, or spiritually younger than you. Uh, but a water sign is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person you've known for a while. There's some pain in the past when it comes to them as well. But this is your week to really show them your emotional self. Really open yourself up to them and allow them to connect with you in that way. Because right now, the way that you guys have been connecting has been very surface level. So you can now choose to go deeper with this person because we have the Pisces season energy to help us out. So that is for your week, March 1st, March 8th. Please comment, like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell uh, for next week's reading. Now, if you chose card number three, so we have the Hierophant and the Queen of Pentacles. So the Hierophant, how I read the Hierophant card, is all about waiting for a sign or a, or you know a message from the universe that it's okay to make a change, that it's okay to let go and be free um, and soar in that aspect. And it's almost like you're waiting for a sign to be that key that unlocks your soul right now, that unlocks your feelings right now. And what sign you're waiting for, it has everything to do with your sign with this uh, earth sign, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who's very grounded, a little too grounded, um, and very stuck in their ways, very stubborn and stuck in their ways. So you're waiting for some sign to even move forward with this person, to even, you know, uh, give in to their stubbornness and kind of just let them win. Uh, the key that you're waiting for, it will be revealed to you this week. Um, but usually I should let you know that if you're even just asking for a sign, waiting for a sign, that's enough of a sign. It's like tossing a coin in the air. You already know mid air what you want. So asking for a sign, you already get your answer right there that you should continue uh, to fight for this person because you're looking for a reason to. You're looking for some sort of divine intervention that says do it, right? Or don't do it. 
So you already know your answer. I hope you guys have an amazing week, March 1st to March 8th. And I will see you next week. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Bye, guys.